Alrighty, so you can see in the hand replay here, we've got my smart HUD attached to this table. Well, I've loaded my uh, smart HUD up here with a ton of stats, so it's probably tough for some of you who first get a HUD like this to figure out where everything is, right? So I'm going to show you how to customize the HUD to make one stat pop out at you to help you focus on that stat in your play sessions. So what we're going to do first is uh, whichever HUD you're going to work off of, open the Edit HUD Profiles page. and then choose the HUD that you want to customize. We want to customize my smart HUD here. Now, the easiest way that I've found for myself to do it, to get me to focus on one stat, is to enlarge it and to, specific, uh, and to choose a specific background color. So first, you're going to select your stat. We're, we're working on 3-bit this time. So you can see right down, that's what it looks like. Fits right in line with, that, with everything else. It doesn't stand out in any way. So what you're going to do first is choose the sizing. When you just click on this little square, um, I like to go down to size 14 when I'm focusing on one stat and hit OK. And you can see, bam, it just jumped up in size. You can make it 18 or 20, as big as you want to draw your eye to it every single time. What else, The other thing I do is I will change the background color. Uh, let's go like a bright yellow. Look at that. Holy cow. Now that's going to stand out on your HUD. The only yellow background and the biggest font. You're going to see this no problem. Um, the other way I try to make my, uh, my, uh, my stats stand out to me is by using some color ranges on them. So we have three bits still selected. You click color ranges up here. I already have these color ranges set. So uh, oh, speaking of the color ranges, within the email that this video link was contained in, I give you another link to download the color ranges that I recommend. If you have your own color ranges, just skip that and use your own, but enlarge the stats and change the background to customize the look to get you to focus on the stats, right? But if you don't know what color ranges to use, start with mine and then you can adjust them, you know? I use red for the low numbers, meaning if like for three bet, for example, if their three bet is between zero and three, I want it red, that's like a red light, stop. Pay attention, look at what they're doing, look at the stat right here, and then proceed versus their three bet accordingly. Um, if it's red. Yellow is middle middle of the road, kind of like a tight aggressive regular player. Green is a loose aggressive player. If I see a stat in green, that means they're often doing it as a bluff or they're doing it with too wide of ranges. And then blue is just overly crazy, loose, loose aggressive player in this instance with this color. But I already have the color coding here, so I want to show you how to color code a stat that I actually don't have a color coding for. And that's this one over here, Bet River on the far right middle row. Now, color ranges, you can add whatever color ranges you want, but this is what we're going to do just so you can see it in action here. You're going to click add once you have that stat selected from zero to 20%. Let's make it, you know, betting river at 20% of the time. Maybe it's kind of a tight better right there. They only bet for value from zero to 20. So let's color code it red. Let's add another one, 20 to 40. Let's give this just like last time. We'll give it the yellow. And then finally for the green, uh, 40 to 100 fully and then we'll go let's go with the light green right here bam hit okay so as you can see all of our color coding stats are right there so when an opponent has a stat of 15 percent it's going to show up as a red color 30 percent will be yellow 60 percent will be green right everything looks good what you're going to do um, is hit apply and that's going to save the changes that you just now made to your hud and then let's see what it looks like now. You can see what it currently is. It takes a second for it to refresh. Bam, look at that. That three bet stands out so easily. Every time you face a three bet, or maybe every time that you open raise, it's gonna be so much easier to look around the table to gauge, hey, what are they three betting? What percentage do they have? You know, Before I open raise, it's a really good idea to see that three bet of 10%, three bet of 9%, I better be careful and maybe constrict my opening ranges just a little bit. And then also you can see, um, a zero percent bet river because I haven't bet rivers on this table out of two instances only a six percent out of 400 hands he's probably pretty tight when it comes to betting the river and he probably doesn't have less than two pair I'm sorry less than top pair when he's betting the river 24 percent and 28 percent they could have some bluffs in their river betting range for sure so that's how I go about customizing my HUD with color ranges and then with specific stats, enlarging them and changing the background to help me focus on them. And that's how I actually went about learning my smart HUD. I created the smart HUD 
but then when you create it, you know, you, you have to try to remember where everything is placed. I spent one week at a time focusing first on this stat right here, which is my raise first in stat. And then I focus on my fold of three bet and then the four bet stat. So I enlarge them just like I did here. And I change that background color, you know. One thing, let me show you. This, um, it's yellow on yellow, which is kind of tough to see, right? Because the stat is yellow on yellow. You're going to have to adjust and play around with the colors that you choose. So what we can do for this one, let's try a different color um, to see if we can make something stand out or make it stand out. But what about this red or purplish color, I mean to say? Mm, that looks pretty good right there. Click apply, go back to the table. Let's see what happens when it refreshes. Oh, nice, that purple color, it doesn't stand out as well as the yellow, I don't think. But red, green, and yellow colors are easily seen there. And in order to make it stand out even more, heck, bump it up to 20, Woohoo! look at that. So now we have a background color that shows all of our color ranges or color coding ranges very well. Plus we have a size that's gonna make it pop out. So before I open raise, it's gonna be really easy to click this button to see the pop-up and where they three bet by position, where they like to uh, squeeze and where they call two bets by position as well. Alrighty, well, thank you very much for watching the video. Peace.